for hanging out with us on this uh, Lenten journey that we're on. And we're going to be continuing to talk about the word wilderness. Um, in Luke chapter 4, verse 1, it says, On returning from the Jordan, full of the Holy Spirit, Jesus was led in the Spirit through the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by the devil. There's a, a, a bunch of spots in scripture where it talks about wilderness and growing up I was um, I always saw wilderness moments as dark moments as scary moments as moments of of where you've gone astray or, or you've walked away or, or moments of deep pain and deep sorrow and uh, at the end of the year, my wife and I have been re were reading this book called Learning to Walk in the Dark by Barbara Brown Taylor, and she speaks on, about how um, you know darkness kind of gets a, a bad rap. Wilderness gets kind of a bad rap because yes, it's in those moments where we uh, see pain and hurt, or even see moments where we've uh, maybe seem like we're far away or whatever, or can't hear as clear. Uh, but those moments are the best places to learn to grow and to heal and uh, quite honestly a lot of times in scripture we see wilderness times are places where sometimes we forget who we really are if you look at the temptations that Jesus goes through honestly those temptations are moments of doubt they're moments where he's confronted with his identity who who are you really and it's almost like this this redemption story of Israel when they were in the wilderness. What happened when they were in the wilderness? They forgot who they were. They were, they were brought out of this place where they had been abused and hurt. Uh, they were slaves and now they're free and now they're in the wilderness and they begin to forget their freedom. And they start grumbling and complaining and they forget who they are and there's and so they're out there in the wilderness, and, and Jesus shows us that in wilderness times is an opportunity for us to find healing, to find, even in those dark moments, light, because there's no place where, there, where light is not. So even when it seems like it's the darkest, even when it seems like the wilderness is so thick and, and you can't see through, light and life is still there. There's hope, there's joy, there's peace. It's there. And sometimes you just got to go through to get to it. So don't be afraid. That, that, that's what I, I really want you to catch that. Don't be afraid of the wilderness. Don't be afraid of the dark. There's so much life there. There's so much freedom there. There's so much more than just the pain and the hurt and the feeling like you're so far away. There's actually a whole lot of life. And sometimes we just have to take a moment, take a deep breath, and take it all in and find the light. I want to close with uh, a prayer from a book that I've been reading called Celtic Prayers from Iona. Uh, I thought it would be a cool thing to read just before we go. God before me, God behind me. God above me, God beneath me. I on your path, O God, you, O God, on my way. In the twistings of the road, in the currents of the river, be with me by day, be with me in the darkness, be with me by day and by night. Be with us in the wilderness. Thank you guys for hanging out today.